Welcome, America. We're back with a couple of my champion favorite classics. Oh, man, I got some good stuff for you today. We're going to be making my classic version of mac and cheese. Really quick, really easy. We're actually going to be adding a little bit of sausage pate to one of them. So I'm going to be making you two versions using the same base. So we're going to jump right in that. Chef Champion here to take you on a culinary journey I promise you've never been before. I'm here to help mold you, shape you, motivate you, and most importantly, inspire you into cooking like a champion. I'm Chef Champion, but my friends call me Ace. Welcome to the new age of culinary learning. Cook like a champion on this great station. So the first thing you want to do is get your cream and everything going. And I'm just using regular heavy whipping cream that I picked up from the grocery store. I'm going to add that to that skillet, just like so. And that's probably about three and a half cups of actual heavy whipping cream. All right, now that cream is going, we're going to go ahead and saute up some of this Nooski's Canadian bacon that I got. Um, really nice smoked bacon. For those of you guys that aren't a fan of the traditional bacon, the Canadian bacon really works excellent because it's not as fat. It's pretty lean. And this is definitely optional too as well. Sometimes I've had mac and cheese down south and you better believe we put some ham in there. Some people put ribs in there. You kind of put whatever you want. So I'm just going to make a couple slices. Put that on there. I don't want to put too much. I don't want to overcrowd it. And make some nice slices. Now I'm just doing chunks, probably about a quarter inch by a quarter inch. I'm just going to add that right to our skillet, just like that. While that's going, I'll go ahead and shred up some of this cheese. Um, always remember, product does matter. Schulzburg Creamery makes the best all organic, all natural, just fresh cheese, no process, no preservatives. I'm always a fan of trying to, you know, eat healthy. And, and I don't mean eat healthy like just give me a big bowl of vegetables and um, carrots or anything like that. I mean, just cook with live food. Make sure that your food, one way or another, was once alive. All right, that looks like that's about good enough. Go ahead and give that a nice little mix. So now that that's going, we'll go ahead and add in our vodka right to the Canadian bacon. We're gonna add probably just a little bit, a couple teaspoons or so. Mm -mm -mm. And I'm using this Van Drastic's premium vodka that's made right here in Wisconsin. So just get you a nice little match or so. And just add that right to there, just like that. Give that a nice little mix. All right. Hey, remember, you got to keep shaking it until the flame goes out. That's the rule of thumb. So while my sauce is coming up to a boil, we're going to take a quick commercial break, and we'll be right back. All right, welcome back, America. We're going to go ahead and finish up on our um, macaroni and cheese and our pate mat. Uh, what we got so far is we just have the vodka and the cream already reduced down to get nice and thick for us. We have our Canadian bacon that we sauteed. I'm gonna go ahead and taste just a little bit of that, make sure it's okay. I think it's good. If you guys have never had Canadian bacon, it is so much better to me than regular bacon. A little bit more healthier for you, not as much as fat. So here comes the fun part, you guys. I told you that I was gonna show you guys how to make two separate recipes using the same base. So now we have our cream base, which is kind of like our Alfredo sauce base. It's basically a white sauce. Traditional terminology is bechamel, but this is America. We don't say bechamel, we say white sauce. So I'm just gonna split that. I'm gonna put half of the white sauce in there and leave the other half, whoa-oh. Almost boiled over. You guys know if it ever comes up to a boil, pull it away from the stove. Don't leave it on there. It will not stop over boiling. So what we want to do is we're going to take some of this cheese, and this is some of that, like I said, that really good organic Kobe smoked Kobe Jack pepper cheese. If you ever heard of it before, it is delicious. And I'm going to add that right to my cream, with just, just my original cream. And then now it comes to the other cream. And I don't know if you guys have ever had pate, Traditional pate is made with liver. Gloris Malone's Fine Sausage out of Milwaukee. They make the best all organic, all natural 
pate. And the beautiful thing about this too as well is not only is it spicy just like I like it, it's made with pork. I'm not a liver person, so uh, if you ever have liver pate and pork pate, I, to me, pork pate has to beat hands down. So for that one, I'm just gonna use my ratios, kind of see how much cream I have left over there. And I'm just probably gonna take, hmm, I'll put this whole half in there. And all I wanna do is just cube it up. Now, when I first started uh, working with this pate, the first thing I thought was put it on a cracker, serve it. But I was told to think outside the cracker, so that's what we're doing. Uh, I don't know if you guys knew it or not, but pate actually melts very well. Wait, guys, on the road, think outside the cracker. Think outside the cracker. <laughs> too funny, too funny. <laughs> you gotta love it, you guys. You gotta love it. Have fun in the kitchen, man. I'm telling you, all these bad negative kitchen shows that you guys see, throw all that out the window, man. Let's have some fun with cooking. You gotta cook anyway, so you might as well enjoy it. So it looks like my pate one is almost done. I have some rigatoni noodles, that's the twist. Traditional macaroni and cheese, they use elbow noodles, but they're so small and they're so traditional. So I use rigatoni, which really has a lot of body to them. I'm just gonna add those to it just like so. Rule of thumb, whatever you're cooking pasta to as well, put it in a nice big pot, let your water come up to boil, add in your salt and then let them boil. Do not cook them all the way. Kind of par cook them, should I say. And that way you leave room for carryover cooking because the worst thing you can have is a mushy pasta. Oh my goodness, that looks so good. So I have the melted pate in there, I have the smoked Canadian bacon in there, I have my cream, I have my vodka. Did I put enough vodka in there? I think I put enough vodka in there. Then I'm gonna add in the rest of this cream, or the rest of this cheese to my cream sauce. It looks like that one's pretty much done, so we'll go ahead and plate that one up. And then the other one should be done right behind it. So you see how this is really saucy? It's almost like a pasta. So you can call this a pasta, you can call this mac and cheese, you can, it's your dish now, you can call it whatever you want. And when you guys download this recipe, please understand that every single recipe that's out there is meant to be tweaked just a little bit. So if you're one of those people that are at home and you're making something and it's burning up on you and you're saying, well, Chef Champion said it's supposed to go another two minutes, that's your fault. <laughs> so don't let it burn, please. And if you guys are looking for these recipes, just visit my website at chefchampion.com. I have all the recipes from today and all the other episodes, um, just an easy download. And I also have the video to go along to as well. So if you guys happen to miss this episode, no worries. I'm actually gonna throw just a little bit more cheese in there because I have all these Wisconsin Knights over here staring at me like I didn't put enough cheese in there in the first place. So I'm gonna add some more in there. It looks like that's about thick enough. Don't judge me, you guys, I'm hungry. I've been, I've been cooking for you guys all day. Mm -mm -mm. That's some good cheese. I'm just gonna pour that cheese sauce right in my bowl, just like that. Give that a nice toss. Uh -oh. And I'm actually, as I toss that, putting a little bit more of that cheese in there. And this is a no-bake mac and cheese. That means you don't have to spend all that time trying to bake it and finish it off. We're just gonna top both of them with just a little bit more cheese. And the last thing we wanna add to that is just a little bit of those diced green onions. And there you have it, you guys, your double version of mac and cheese, your traditional Wisconsin mac and cheese, and your crazy, crazy pate mac and cheese that I just came up with last week. But that's what you get when you cook like a champion.